Today, we're going to answer a question from a subscriber about how to gain confidence in your intentions, as well as how to get in touch with somebody that you haven't spoken to in a long time. So let's talk about that. Amanda here from CreatureFuture.co. It's me again. So I'm going to answer a, another subscribers question from the Patreon page, which is a law of attraction discussion group, guys. Check it out. And you know what? If you guys are looking for some amazing courses, we have how to recreate people and also identifying your blocks, two excellent courses, which are basically a course and one group coaching call. They're amazing. People are getting results with them. The link is in the description below, or you can even email me. I can help you sign up for them. So let's answer this question from the Patreon page. So can you make a video on how to get back in touch with someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time and how to have confidence and understand um, that when you're saying your intentions that you'll know what you'll get what you want instead of feeling like you're just wishing for a miracle. This is an excellent two part question. So the first part is, is um, let's go with starting with how to have confidence, okay, in yourself and your intentions. I think this is incredibly important. And I, once I answer this, I think it's going to help the answer for the second part of the question. So how do we have confidence is, you know what we do, we build it up, okay, it's like anything, you know, the more you ride a bike, the better you get at it, the more you do something, the more neurological paths you create for it, and the easier it gets. Okay, so practice, 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 repetition, repetition, repetition. Okay. And like how I started was, okay, I started with really small things. Okay, I started with people saying things. I started with free parking, I started with manifesting fried chicken, just the little tiny things. And as those little tiny things kept showing up, showing up, showing up, and I kept watching quantum physics programs and watching quantum mechanics and intending that I would understand how I create and intending that I would understand how everyone is me pushed out and kept going out there and learning and trying and learning and trying. And every time I pushed the bar just a little bit more, I was like, okay, look at if I can get fried chicken showing up at my door, I can make more money. And then if I can do that, then I can do this. And every time I just pushed it a little bit farther, because I started to believe in myself and my thoughts. Now, I'll tell you some things that I actually intend, I don't actually believe I'm going to get, but I do believe that my thoughts create and I do have faith in that. Okay. And that came from just practicing, practicing, practicing every day, being aware of my thoughts, setting out intentions, seeing the correlation between my thought and intention, thought and intention. And then I learned slowly never to give up on my intentions. Okay. And to keep persisting in them. And I saw that when I did that for any length of time, then things actually shown up. Now, anything comes up in my life, I'm like, don't worry, I got this. I'm just going to change my thoughts and I'm totally going to get it. Because I've done it so many times that it's like, <laughs> it's like nothing's a problem anymore. Like nothing. Even if I have a day where I'm like, oh, you know, life sucks and I'm like thinking negative, it, I don't even let that bother me. I'm like, I'll just turn around tomorrow. Like no big deal. Like whatever. Right. <laughs> and it isn't any big deal when you know and you have faith and confidence in yourself and you get that just by practicing this. So, what I suggest is to write out your complaints about life, no matter how big or how small, and pick one and start changing it. Change it, change it. See it shift in your world. Stop complaining about it to other people. You know, stop complaining about it in your head. Start creating intentions around it to shift it. Okay. And also do a list of, you know, just regular manifestations that you want to see throughout your day. And in fact, you know, as you go throughout your day, even do this. Like when you go to catch the bus, I intend the bus will be on time or the train's going to be there. You know, like something you want something to change or maybe you're sitting in you know in a lineup and you want to talk to somebody I intend for the person in front of me to turn around and say hi constantly intend throughout your day become aware of your surroundings your thoughts and start intending you're going to get what you want say you're on the way to the bank okay think to yourself I intend for the bank to be empty you know I intend to get right in and out of there you know I intend for them to be pleasant da, da, da. you know start intentionally creating your day okay yeah so how to get back in touch with someone you haven't spoken with in a long time, text them. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> right? 
think about them, you know, that is enough to actually get them to reach out to you. Now, if they're not reaching out to you, first of all, never give up, you know, just not that long ago, like somebody actually in my life that, you know, I don't have any sort of like, you know, story with, we're on, we talk and we get along. I thought about them about a month ago and they only texted me like the, yesterday or the day before. So that took a whole month. <laughs> like, don't ask me why. I only thought of it once a month ago. And then I realized when she messaged me, I was like, wow, it was like a whole month, but whatever. Other times, like I think about somebody and it's immediate so you know I mean but yeah you know you know text them now if you can't find them then you know maybe intend they find you on Facebook or intend that you find them or intend that you know a friend of a friend you know lets you know that they found them or blah 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 so there's so many different ways to go about it depending on what the dynamic is what the situation is and why you maybe haven't spoken in a long time, you know, what the history is. So there's a lot of different variables that are in there. But generally, just thinking about the person should be enough to bring them into your reality. As long as, you know, there was no sort of, you know, rejection story or bad previous history that was there, right? And if just thinking about them, you know, isn't bringing them into your reality, then you may want to take a look in and, you know, start breaking down the story of any sort of blocks that you may have in that situation. Okay. Anyways, yes, that's my video for today. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are all amazing. And guess what? This video was cheery approved. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye-bye.